All right, trying a new microphone today. As a lot of you have said that the microphone audio quality has been a little rough lately. Hello and welcome to Mono Broadcast. Today, we're back again with our Flipper Zero for Beginners. This is part four, and today we're diving into something that sounds way cooler than it probably should. Sub gigahertz. What even is that? Let's break it down. Intro. Before we get started, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, PCB Way. Whether you're building your own custom flipper add ons, messing around with DIY electronics, or just need some high quality PCBs fast, PCB Way has your back. They've got 3D printing, CNC machining, and even assembly surfaces if soldering makes you sweat. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, they're affordable, fast, and super easy to work with. Check them out at PCBWay.com, links down in the description below. Sub gigahertz just means radio frequencies below one gigahertz. That's stuff like garage remotes, car keys, all those mystery buttons on your ceiling fan that you're too afraid to press. Flipper Zero can read, save, and transmit these signals. It's like giving your Tamagotchi the power of remote control sorcery. Ooh. Now listen, before you go all hacker mode, a reminder, copying someone else's remote or using this on private property you don't own is illegal. Always test this on your own shit. Be cool and don't be that guy. I'm gonna stand over here. I'm gonna have it displayed here on the screen. Let's do something fun. I've got my garage remote here. Let's go ahead and read it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna go down I'm gonna push enter, go to read, and if I push this button, we'll see that it registers a security access, which is this garage remote. Now, let's say we wanna save this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and click okay, and then if we push over to the right, that is save. We can also send it directly from here. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it a name. We're gonna name this garage, and boom, there we have it. That signal is now saved on my flipper just like a mixtape from the early 2000s, but with more openers. <laughs> Such a bad pun. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that saved, if we go ahead and go to the sub gigahertz menu here, we're gonna scroll down to saved, and we see that we have our garage door. We can actually rename that if we want to. So you can keep your remotes tidy, garage, fan, evil lair, whatever. But here's where the cool part is, is you can actually transmit saved signals. So you just go back up to emulate. And by the power of Grayskull, just like that, I am now Remote Control Man! Which sounds way less cool now that I say that out loud. There's also a frequency analyzer, which then can just listen to different frequencies and see if you catch anything and what is actually playing in your local areas. You can also experiment with custom signals inputting a frequency, modulation type, and pulse length manually if you're feeling spicy. There's also a brute force option too, which tries a bunch of signals, but again, only use this on your own gear. You don't want to end up in a subreddit labeled look idiot arrested for hacking a toaster. Now, the Flipper Zero supports different frequencies depending on your region. The 315 MHz is the US, 433 MHz is for Europe, and 868 MHz in parts of Asia. And some devices are region locked, so keep that in mind if your remote isn't showing anything. Now, here's some fun ideas, is backing up your own garage remotes, controlling the outdoor lights. In my case, my car is old enough that I actually have it programmed to unlock my car should it get locked. But you can also create a single multi-device remote for your shed, gate, and spooky Halloween decorations. But yes, the fan remote still does scare me. So, And that is sub gigahertz in a nutshell with the Flipper Zero. Pretty amazing what this little cyber dolphin can do. If you like this, hit the buttons, drop a comment, and check out parts one, two, and three if you're just tuning in. Oh, and if you're just getting started with your flipper, I put together a free little mini guide called Five Easy Flipper Zero Tricks for Beginners over at modernbroadcast.tv. Grab it for free, level up your flipper skills, and start having fun with this little beast right away. Thanks again, PCB Way, for sponsoring today's video. And up next, we might be jumping into NFC or IR blasters. So let me know in the comments what you want to see, and have a great week, everyone. Take care. Huh. Just, I, I don't know what this button means.
you like this video, be sure to check out maybe this one. Maybe that one.